Hello everybody, it's Mary with Stamps and Lingers, and it is uh, 1 o'clock on Thursday, which means it is time for a little bitty YouTube Live. Alright, I've got a couple of things to make for you today. The truth of the matter is, is they are the same thing. They are gift card holders, you can see. Um, one is for Christmas, and one is a wedding card that's the same gift card holder. It's just, you know decorated differently and uses obviously different products. Hey, Karen, I appreciate you. So I'm going to do the uh, Christmas one first. I figured this would be a good time. There may be some of you yet who are still looking for gifts and cr gift cards are really a cool way to do it. But if you can make it pretty, then that's even better, right? Hello, Faith. Hi, Judy and Nell and V. I appreciate you guys coming. Now, I do want to show you one other one. This one is not going to be on my blog tomorrow particularly, but this is a real good quick one. It uses some Berry Christmas DSP and the Gift of Giving stamp set just on the front. And when you open it up, well, when you open it up, there we go, there's a center section where the gift card would sit. So this is a real good one because it's almost completely flat. It would be great for putting in a stocking, okay? And it's real quick to make, and I don't think you'll have any problem. Stamp, cut to the size, mat it, color it, put it on a belly band. And the belly band idea will be just the same for all of these as as this one. So not a problem. All right, guys. Hey, thank, hey Amy. Appreciate you coming. Hi, Susan. All right. So I'm going to start with the Christmas one, and that is from a couple of products that are retiring, but were still available this morning, so I'm hoping they still are. I've used the Joy of Noel set and the Christmas Classic set. Both of these are in the outgoing um, September to December mini catalog. And then I used some Walk in the Forest DSP. And all you got to do is just undo this little belly band and the inside, the, not, the joy of using DSP is that you get a decoration on both sides, all right? If you don't have any walk in the forest, but you do have some of the joy of Christmas DSP left, that would work as well. I will tell you that the joyful specialty paper with the foil accents that you know that you get in three colors is not going to be quite as pretty because it's only got one side. That that specialty paper is one-sided, so that's not going to be so perfect. But this walk in the forest is great, and so we're going to make a second one using the, this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that going. And once I get done with this one, I'm going to make one with a new product out of the new catalog. And then we're going to be all happy. So this is my walk in the forest DSP. It's this one. And the colors are really the same as the first. So all I have is a four and a quarter by nine and a half piece of DSP. And I'm going to score it um, three times. I'm going to score at one and five eighths. Now, I'm using the large end, the large side of the stylus, okay? And I'm not pushing real hard. When you're scoring DSP, you kind of want to have a gentle touch because it will go right through. Okay, so one and five eighths. I guess I'm scoring four times, sorry. I can't even count today. God, God knows how we're gonna get this done. Four and three eighths, five and five eighths, and six and seven eighths. Okay, so those are our scores. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, oh, thank you, Terry. I appreciate that very much. That's very kind. Okay. So, if we were looking at this, well, we are looking at it, aren't we? Weird. Um, you have these three score lines are close together. This score right here, which is actually the um, five and five eighths line, is going to fold as a mountain. The others are going to fold as valleys. And you first have to determine which side do you want to see on the outside. So I want this side on the outside, so I'm going to make my, my mountains go in towards my inside design, which is not unattractive. You could pick either one, really. Okay, so here is our first score line. And then we've got our next score line. And I'm going to skip that middle one, turn it around, and fold here. 
And once again, I have a weirdness. I don't know what is the deal here. I have measured and measured and measured, and I don't know what the deal is. So I'm going to fix this. I'm just going to fix it. And I would love to tell you that I'm going to have it all figured out before I put it on the blog, but to be quite honest, I don't know why it's not working. I made the first one, I made a second one, it all worked fine, and then all of a sudden it kind of quit. So we're just going to fix it. It'll be okay. It's all going to be fine. It's all fine. Okay? So then I'm going to take this other, the middle score line, and score it the other direction. Okay? And you can see this is how it's going to stick up. And so there is where our gift card is going to set. All right. So what I did is I decided to use the double oval punch. And I'm using the um, scallopy edge one. And all you're going to do is you're going to stick this folded together. Okay. Going to stick it inside, partway inside the oval. And you're going to kind of just eyeball it up and down to get it as close to center as you can. And you don't want to go all the way by any stretch. So I wouldn't go any further than that right there. All you're doing is creating a little spot for your, um, for your gift card to go. Hey, Alicia, I appreciate you coming. All right. Then we're going to find our skizzers. Here they are. I found them. Don't worry. Not to, don't panic, y'all. Don't panic. And I'm just going to cut on this fold. Now, I will tell you, I have tried doing this after adhering them together, and it's certainly doable. You just have to, you know, be careful. Okay, so now on one of these pieces, I'm going to take some Terran uh, tape, Terran, Terran tape, yeah, and I'm going to put it, and you want it to be, we're putting outside to outside like this, right? So we're going to be sure that we're putting the tear and tape on our outside design. And I'm going to put it right up against the edge. Okay. And I'm going to put it right up against the other edge. Like so. And then I'm going to put it along the bottom. Like that. And then I'm going to unstick it from my hand. Thanks, Nina. I appreciate you. Oh, Linda. I hope you get better soon. Don't strain those eyeballs, girl. Your doctor will be mad at me and he'll try to come find me. All right. And then we're just going to take the covers off of those pieces of tear and tape. And then we're going to stick them together again outside design to outside design and just line those edges up like so okay now you can really start to see it coming together now just as proof the proof is in the pudding or as they say somewhere somebody somewhere says this i'm sure the proof is in the gift card right so I always keep a handy gift card sticking around so that I can stick it in and use it because I highly recommend that when you're making your belly band, you have it with the gift card in so that you get that extra little bit of thickness and you get a belly band that works for you. All right, side eye, side eye. Okay, okay, okay. But it appears that I need to cut a belly band. I cut all the other thingies. So let me grab a quick belt. Oh, it's right in front of me. Good Lord. All right. So this is a piece that's one and a quarter wide and it's 11 and a half inches long. Now you are not going to need all 11 and a half inches, but for me, it's just as easy to have it full length and then be able to just cut it down. And you, it'll help you if you kind of give it a little curly whirly like that. And then... Just put the end right in the center. And you don't want this real, real tight, okay? Because if it is, then part of the fun of your gift will be your recipient saying bad words as they try to slide it off. And nobody wants that. So, you know, be a little loose with it. 
This is not the time to build the space shuttle. And then I'll just cut that end off like that because it doesn't really matter. It's going to be hidden by our decoration. I'm going to use a little piece of tear and tape here because, you know, it's going to get a lot of action, right? It's going to see a lot of action. And, and it's also fun, there we go, to try to pull those off on, on camera because that's when they don't work. Okay, so then we're just going to set that in like that and then without getting too, you know, head up about it being real snug, I don't want it to be snug, I'm going to stick it down with the edges aligned. Okay, there. Now, I did a little cutting ahead of time. This little square is actually in the Christmas Classics set. It's not a square, it's a square with a little edge, okay? So I've got the Christmas Classics set, cut the square, and then Joy of Noel, I've cut a pine bough in garden green and distressed gold, and I used the cool Noel, whoops, that would be upside down, Noel die to cut out Noel, all in distressed gold paper, like this. Now, this one is one that I probably wouldn't put in a stocking because it, I mean, you know, if you put it in something else, that would probably be okay. But as you can see, it's got some sticky outy stuff and that's going to not go well in a stocking. I'm just throwing that out there for you. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to take a little bit of liquid glue mm -hmm, and adhere this Noel to this little die cut. Now, it's, this is pretty peacock, If you, in case you couldn't figure it from the picture. From the picture. Whoosh, you guys, I went out yesterday. I had a doctor's appointment, and then I decided, well, I'll hit Sam's one last time to get my Brussels sprouts and some cauliflower and some sweet potatoes. Oh, my goodness. I was thinking, oh, Wednesday. Psh, that'll be easy. No. No. But, you know, Sam's has got, I was going to go to Costco, but it, I could just tell from the, from the parking lot that it was going to be an absolute madhouse. And Costco, Sam's has this thing that you can um, use your phone and scan the barcode and that enters it for you. And then you get done with all of it at the end and you swipe and you can pay with the credit card that is on file, which means you don't have to go through the register line. Well, Costco does not have that. And I thought to myself, self, <laughs> that's going to be a stinking madhouse. Ooh, yum, Karen. That's what I'm making for Christmas, too. I actually bought two whole bags of Brussels sprouts. I may make them twice just because I really love them. Now, come on. So you can see while I'm yakking, I'm gluing, right? I mean, this isn't, this isn't rocket science. Don't use a lot of glue. You don't want it squishing out. And it will squish, I assure you. Which is both its blessing and its curse. I'm just saying. It's a two-edged sword there. It squishes so you can get it real good adherence. But it squishes so you can get it where you don't want it. So be easy. Come on. You do have to actually squeeze the bottle. Every once in a while, you have to actually squeeze the bottle. And I have to say, I'm pretty happy I'm not trying to fly this year. Mm -mm -mm. Looks like it's a hot mess out there. Okay, so with that on, the next thing is we're just going to layer things up on our belly band. And it's going to be, it's very much like a Mary card, right? We're going to have some pine boughs. We're going to have some linen thread. And we're going to have our sentiment like that. Without that, we don't need that. All right. So let me go ahead and adhere these pine boughs with the liquid glue. And what I did there is I just put the liquid glue on the gold bow, and then I can pick the green one up and put the liquid glue on there. Brussels sprouts are Amy's favorite, but Let's not let's not forget Amy did eat them and liked them. Don't let her lie. She's fixing to fib. She is fixing to fib. She is fibbing right now. She ate them and liked them at the retreat. Don't lie, Amy Kunders. Santa Claus is still watching. Okay. 
Now I'm taking a piece of linen thread and especially as you get towards, you know, you may get some real crinkly. So just rub your, rub it through your fingers a few times. And I'm just doing a double length, um, simple bow. I'm not doing a double loop linen thread bow. We're not doing a Farrah Fawcett bow. We're doing a semi Kate Jackson bow here. Okay. And you want the bow, the loops big enough that when it gets put on your belly band and then you add your sentiment that you can still see it. Okay, and that looked pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and cut it. Little cabbages, yep, that's what they are. And I'll tell you what, I detested them growing up. Detested. So the fact that I eat them now is a testament to the amazingly good recipes that are available. Because my mom... She cooked them the way everybody did. Steamed them or boiled them or something. And whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. They weren't good. They were not good. All right, so I'm putting my little linen, my little glue dot there. And then I'm going to attach my bow. My bow. And then I'm going to make sure that's still where I wanted it. Because I was busy yakking. Let me pull it to me a little bit. I'm going to pull it back over here a little bit, just so it's a little further under the sentiment. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to add some dimensionales. See, did you think I was going to make anything without dimensionals if I could get away with, with it? No. I'm always going to have dimensionals. Well, maybe. There we go. And it's easier to just put them right on here. Um, I have posted it a couple of times on my Facebook page, Terry, but I will try to remember to do it again because it was really good. Karen, unless you've got it handy and can post it in the comments, that would be cool too. All right, let's be sure we're good. Yep, we are. So we'll take these little covers off. And you can see I'm building this on the gift card holder, which I recommend. I don't know why, but I do. I recommend it. I was going to say because it makes it easier to make sure that things aren't going off the edge, but they actually go off the edge in the next one. So so that was just a not an illogical reason. So I, I decided to un, unsay it. I decided to unsay that. All right, so we'll put that on there like so. And then I've got a few festive pearls in gold that I'm going to add. Just because it's a gift card holder doesn't mean it can't have some bling. Some blingy bling. Some blingy bling. Oh, well, Marva. Yeah, I guess if you don't like them, you don't like them. I'm going to say the chili one is pretty darn good. The Thai chili one. And then I'm going to stick one, one more little gold dot right over here. Okay, so there's the outside. Now, on the inside... I have a piece of um, basic white, and what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is, using the sentiments from Christmas Classics, no more eggnog? No, I, eggnog, that's a calorie sink I just can't bring myself to do these days. All right, I'm just going to stamp Christmas in Cherry Cobbler. Cherry Cobbler. Cherry Cobbler. Yes, and the Brussels sprouts discussion. And then I am going to, let's see if I want to use Balmy Blue. Hang on just a second. This is the first one. Where's the second one? Here it is. Nope, this is the first one. Here's the second one. Let me see what the other side is. Uh, let's see. Well, You know what? I'm going to use Garden Green for this one instead of Balmy Blue. You can see on the other one that my inside had Balmy Blue, Mary, because that made sense with the inside of the DSP. So modify your, modify your um, design to fit what you've got going on. All right, but I am going to clean that off because it had Balmy Blue on it last. All right, so this one is very classic. We have some garden green. 
for the word Merry and Cherry Cobbler for Christmas. And there we go. And then I am going to adhere this to a pretty peacock mat. This is one of the joys of um, Stampin' Up! DSPs, is you get to learn, like I probably wouldn't have on my own said Garden Green and Pretty Peacock together. I just wouldn't have. I would have tried to make them more the same, but I would have been wrong, all right? I mean, I wouldn't have been wrong. I just wouldn't have explored all of the options, and that would have been a shame. So this goes here on the, I guess the front, and you can tell by the front because that's the way you point your card, right? And then this closes and closes and your belly band goes on and you're ready to gift it, just like that. <coughs> okay, now let me get my gift card out so that I can make the second one. You guys got time for a second one? It may take a minute because there's some coloring with it, but if you want to watch, I will be happy to do it. What did I do there? I must have pulled a I must have pulled a loop or something. I pulled a big loop. I will fix that. There we go. Okay. Whew. That was close. Okay. <laughs> All right, Angie, thank you. All right, I'm gonna get my gift card out so I have my template. Put that back, stack it over with the others. Okay, now this one uses some um, Forever Love DSP and the Lifetime of Love bundle, which is coming soon to a mini catalog near you. And I've got some Lost Lagoon and some Pretty Peacock and some Petal Pink and a little bit of Moody Moth. Okay, so let's get this going. I'm gonna see if I, let me put a couple of little things away right quick, okay? Because otherwise I'll end up stamping something with something that shouldn't be stamped with. Now y'all keep your fingers crossed that this fourth time making this works out. Okay, so four and a quarter by nine and a half again. Use the big side and we're gonna go one and five eighths four and three eighths, five and five eighths, and six and seven eighths. And if that doesn't work again, then I don't even know. Then I will be officially gobsmacked. All right, so once again, I want this side out, so I'm gonna fold away from it. Let's see what this does. Well, I'm gonna make it work because it's too big again. Hmm. Well, hmm, hmm. I don't know, people. I just don't know. Okay, so I've got those all folded as mountains or valleys, and then the center one is going to fold as a mountain to make the gift card spot like that, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you a different way in case you wanna do it different. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to adhere the two pieces together, all right? Hey, Tina, appreciate you. Ooh, busy crocheting a scarf, yay! My mom crochets. So I'm just gonna put some tear and tape here across this back score and then up this side. Don't go past that score line, okay? So remember the first time I did this, I cut it first and then did the tear and tape. This time I'm putting the tear and tape on first and I'm gonna adhere it together and then I'm gonna punch my little finger grabber hold hole, and then I'm going to snip. Snip, snip. Okay. So I'm just going to adhere those down like so. Of 
And there's our pop-up piece. And then, same as the last time, I'm gonna use the same double oval punch, kinda try to eyeball it top to bottom, left to right, and only stick it in about that far and cut it. And then take my snippy whips. Yes, this is beautiful DSP. And give that a little cut right there like that. So you can decide which is easier or harder, which one you prefer. I actually think I prefer the other method better, but everybody's gonna like something a little bit different. So I wanted you to see the two ways and you'll have an easier time if you come from the inside out like that and just kind of try to stay right on the top of that ridge right there like that. Okay, and there we'll put our card in. Yeah, this is such a beautiful stamp set and it's indicative of the many, many beautiful things in the new catalog. I am just uh, tickled silly with the new catalog. Actually, this should go this way for the front. Not that that's not a little bit up. There we go. Okay. So let me do the inside first. I am going to take a piece of very vanilla and I'm going to stamp. Uh, let's see. Congratulations on your wedding. And I'm doing it in Moody Love. Moody Love. Oh, hey, Carol, getting your gift wrapping done. Yay for you. All right. So I'm doing congratulations on your wedding day in Moody Mauve. You could actually leave this portion open with no sentiment and just put the leaf I'm fixing to put. And with forever and always on the front, like we're fixing to do, it could also be an anniversary gift, okay? And I mean, I think, I think gift cards for weddings, although I, I was thinking about that earlier. Do you, do, I guess people do gift cards. I know I do because I'm like old school. But now all the kids want to go to that not place, the not, K-N-O-T. And, and then they, they ask for stuff like, and you can just put money in right there. And then you would just give them a card, I guess. So I don't know. Kids these days. All right. So this is from Lifetime of Love. And I'm just stamping it in tuxedo black. And I'm going to cover that back up and get it out of the way. And Tuxedo Black can take an extra second or three to dry, but that's not looking too juicy. So I'm going to use my light. Uh, whoop, not that side. Do you guys realize that there, this says this shows you which side is which, which you would never know, considering that nine and a half times out of ten, I open the wrong side first. Brush side thick line, bullet side, thin line. Yeah. All right. So I prefer the brush line almost, brush side almost every time. And I'm not getting too head up. So part of me thinks about gift card holders. I think it's nice if they're pretty, but I also think what they really want is the gift card. So they're going to look at it Hopefully you're going to have signed your name so they know who gave them the gift card that they were asking, hoping for. And then, you know, it's going to get lost somewhere. So why do I say that? I've just given myself a rationalization for not doing a lot of real special coloring, you know, real precious coloring of my leaves here because I just don't think they're going to care. I don't think they're going to go, oh my gosh, those would have been the prettiest leaves if she had just put some shading on them. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. All right. -o. And then once again, we're going to use Pretty Peacock. Pretty Peacock is like the most versatile, easiest to get along with color. I just love it. Not too green, not too blue. If you have a color challenge that wants it to be blue, I call it blue. And if I have a color challenge that wants green, I call it green. See, it's, it's the, it's, am, it's ambicolorous. 
All right, now let's just be sure I put it on the right one. You can tell because it's the only one that fits it when you cut to the dimensions that I give you. And we're going to put this in here. And really, you can hardly beat Moody Mauve, Petal Pink, Pretty Peacock, and Lost Lagoon. Serious. Okay. So now we can close this up. And I'm going to use a Petal Pink uh, belt. No, it's not a belt. It's a belly band. Not a belt at all. I'm going to do the same thing. It's a one and a quarter inches wide. And once again, I've forgotten. Yes, you can absolutely also put a cat in a in cash or check. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. But yep, you can actually absolutely put cash in these as well. Or you could put a gift certificate, like to Stampin' Up. Hmm. I wonder who has those. Anybody we know? Huh. I don't know. Any denomination? Easy peasy. Stampsandlingers.com slash shop. All right. Now, once again, I'm going to cut this down. <clears throat> and give that a little tear and tape. And I'm obviously yakking, hey Debbie, yakking too much. Thank you, Lynn. Okie dokie. Okay, like I said, this Terran tape and I are really gonna have to sit down and have a discussion. The year end review is not gonna go well for you, Terran tape. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna close this. Remember, I've got my gift card in, so I have a good idea of what the thickness is going to be, but I don't want to get it like it's the space shuttle, okay? I want it to slide sort of easy. I mean, it's nice if it doesn't fall off, but it's also nice if people don't have to get a pry bar to get it off of there. That's just me, though. <clears throat> okay, so let's decorate. I have got a three inch by three inch piece of very vanilla, and I am going to use the, um, the trio punch here. This is the very best trio, and I'm going to use the corner die. And it, no, that's not a die, it's a punch. So I'm gonna punch, and then I'm gonna go to the other side. And then I'm going to turn it like this, so flip it over so that I keep the corners in the same or orientation, okay? See how the point's like that? If I had it the other way, the point would be, uh, trust me on that, it, it's true. It's true, pretty sure it's true. Okay, so I have all four pieces done. <clears throat> I've used the very beautiful wreath die in Lifetime of Love, and I have cut two distressed gold wreaths, wreaths, and they're just going to adhere like so. All right. So first off, let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment so we know where everything is. There you go, gift card holders, but with cash. I like that a lot. It's cool. Okay, now let's see. Somewhere, somewhere over the rainbow. We have forever and always. And I am stamping it in Moody Moth. Try to get it straight. Like so. All right. <clears throat> and then I'm going to use my liquid glue to adhere these. We're not going to adhere them like that at all. We're gonna over we're gonna offset them so that we get a nice full wreath. And I'm just gonna put the liquid glue. The liquid glue. See if you leave your glue open for too long, it gets a little tiny film right over the tip. And you just pull it off. So I don't need a lot of glue out here, but I do need some. And I'm just kind of putting it on the leaves. And I'm going to show you why that's going to work in just a second. Okay. So I'm going to put that on like this. Didn't get any there. That's okay. And then I'm going to do the same on the other die with the glue on just the leaves. And this one is going to kind of hold the other one down, right? You get you picking up what I'm putting down? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Okay. And I'm going to offset that so that we get a nice full wreath like that. 
Okay. Film, a.k.a. a glue booger. Yes. Mm-hmm. Kind of like a glue booger. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that, because that just encourages her, but I can't help it. Okay. All right. Now, before you arrived, I stamped this... Um, floral image from Lifetime of Love in some tuxedo black on a piece of very vanilla and I cut it out. Now I'm going to use my light moody mauve and we're going to see if I, if I get this done right. If I don't, then you'll know that I didn't and you'll be like, gosh, she's not very good at this. See, I opened up the uh, wrong side anyway. Goodness gracious. Let's see, let's color it this way. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use the moody mauve to just color those shade marks that Stampin' Up! put in, and then I'm going to color some of the areas where it would be dark because it's kind of pushed under. You know, pushed under, that's a, that's a floral term. You guys can't really use it. I'm sorry. Not really allowed for you to use it. Only I, a dedicated... I'm going to change to my tip, my other tip. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys are killing me. All right. Now, it might seem a little counterintuitive, but you can actually be a little more delicate with the brush end than with the bullet side because you can really just... That little tiny tip is quite thin if you need it to be, and you can get it to be that way by not pushing down very hard. So I'm just kind of highlighting areas, or low lighting them, as the case may be, that would seem like they would be down in the in the flower, and thereby, er, therefore, ergo, be a little bit darker. Like that. Sorry, I had to have dead space because I had to like breathe and think all at the same time. Okay, so let's go ahead now and take the uh, light, or dark petal pink, sorry, dark petal pink, and color the rest. Now, I recommend that you do the, um, the darker color first, because it tends to bleed a little less into the petal pink. I mean, that was my experience. And I also wouldn't like, you know, scrub over the top of the Moody Mauve so that it kind of stays where it, where you had it. Okay. And that's particularly true out here where those shade marks are. And I just realized I want this right here to be dark. Why? I don't know, but it seemed like it should be. Okay. And then we'll just color the rest. You guys will be happy to know we're very close to being done. Really, we are. I'm not even kidding. I know you're thinking, oh my God, Mary, it's practically Christmas. We have other things to do. Okay. Y'all, I woke up a little early this morning. I turned the TV on. And have you seen the movie uh, Gran Torino with Clint Eastwood? I won't tell you all of it. It's a very good movie. I did cry a little at the end. I'm not going to kid you. I did. I cried a little at the end. And here we go. I'm going to put these, make those dark too. I think that wants to be dark. I'm going to put a little dark right here. Okay. Oops. I forgot an entire petal. Look at that. I forgot an entire petal. One entire uncolored petal. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to use my light Lost Lagoon to color my leaves without getting carried away. Did you see how I dove in there like, let's get this done? I was going to be outside my lines and very bummed. I did not want to be outside my lines. Coloring outside the lines, that's... That's not how I like to do. Okay, so I'm just coloring these. Aren't you glad I didn't do these like 12 more times? 
What if I'd made 17 gift cards, gift card holders, and made you sit here the whole time? You'd all have been like dropping off going, maybe she won't notice. Okay. And then I'm going to take my, yeah, it is a great movie. He is so good. I'll tell you what, he is such a good actor. It was good. I liked it. I did feel a little bad for his dog, though. Can't help it. Okay. And then I'm just using the Dark Lost Lagoon to pick up the... Um, thank you, Stampin' Up! for giving me leaf veins to follow so I can give some detail to these leaves without having to actually have any creative bones. I just do what you did, and I'm in like Flynn. There we go. Okay. So that is going to go here. And I've cut out two leaves from Lost Lagoon using the dies. There's a die in the set, and I'm going to adhere them. Yep, sometimes they do, and I just stick them back in, and if it becomes too annoying, I call Stampin' Up. And if I haven't had them for like six years, they tend to take care of it for me. But, you know, everything has a lifespan, right? Everything does. But yes, it does. I just, I just shove it back in there. Usually that works fine. And I haven't had that happen in a hot minute, so there we go. And then this one. Like that uh, right there. And then I'm going to use more dimensionals. Dimensionales. Where are you, dimensionales? There you are. And we're going to put them on here. Like so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Why am I, what was I, oh, <laughs> one of the many Hallmark movies set in a fictitious town in Europe. I watched one where they had built the winter castle out of ice. Now, really, who would go to an ice castle? It, <laughs> that seems cold to me. I could be wrong, but it seems very cold to me. But they were using these horn doohickeys made out of horns and stuff. Mm. All right. Take these off and center this on the belly band. And it does kind of hang off the top a little bit, but it's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. Okay. It's okay. And then these are some of my pretty, the prettiest things. These are the Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock Foiled Gems. They're so pretty. All right, and then we're going to put one of those right there. And y'all, this is it. That is it. This is it for that. This is that for it. So we have our wedding and we have our Christmas. Both are the same exact design. So once you've made one, you've made them and you'll be good to go. But don't forget this one. This is the perfect one to put in your in your stockings, okay? And if if you're interested, let me tell you the dimensions here. Everything else is the same. This piece here is um, one and three eighths by three and five eighths, the white piece, and then the mat is an eighth of an inch bigger all the way around. And everything else is identical, all righty? Okay, guys, I'll be back on Saturday. It'll be the last one before Christmas, and it will be all new things. No more Christmas. Christmas is done. All right? Appreciate you guys spending part of your pre-Christmas week with me, and I will see you on Saturday. Have a good one, everybody. Thanks. Ta.